Hi, it's John here again, and what we're going to do today is some uh, drawings of heads, and we're going to uh, do a little bit of pencil sketching to start with, and then we'll have a look at uh, the construction of the head, just to get the proportions right, and um, we'll see what we do. But I just want to first show you a little trick that I always use when I'm drawing uh, faces and heads, and it's a little bit of a doodle. You can do this any time, uh, and uh, as you learn a bit more about proportions, you'll be able to get that really quite good but it's really quick and i think you'll enjoy it because all we do to start with is we start to shade and we start just to make a, a it's more or less a bit of a hexagon shape and we do two of those and then below those two shaded shapes i've not done any outline at all to start with i just make a little mark underneath and i'm thinking that is actually the bottom of the nose and then what I do is I just do underneath the top lip and it's just all shading and then I do underneath the bottom lip and then what I do is I'll just darken up an area just to show where the eyes might be and then what I'll do then is I'll just start to shade and pull in the shape of a head and a face around that, I, mostly through shading. I'll draw that all the way around and then I've got the shape of my head. I'll put some ears in and then I'll shade a little bit more and I'll sort of start to make up what it is that I'm doing and I'll shade just a bit more. I'll put in some hair, some sides of the hair coming down below the ears and that's more or less what I do. Then probably what I do is I go in a little bit more into this uh, eyebrow region here. I'll bring that in towards the nose and do another one and just darken up some shaded area around here. Underneath the nose, I, don't, I tend not to worry too much about that but I'll build up the shape of the nose and uh, just a little bit more shading of cheeks and then darken up around the bottom of the chin put in a little bit more eye and then I drop the neck down from the shape just underneath the, the place just underneath the ears and that's what one step towards making a head. Now, uh, if I do that again, I'll just make my shade in. And I do this fairly small, to be honest. It's um, it's just a little bit, this it's a little bit um, sort of gradual and just these two marks, another mark there, another mark for lips, another mark for underneath the lips, and then uh, depending on how it, the shape of how it's going, I'm just thinking, considering that this part of the nose and the, this, this, the face is looking in a different direction. So I'll put in the pupil on this side, and then I'll put in the pupil on that side. And it's all, it's a lot to do with, a, with experience and um, just playing around with the marks, really. And, uh, seeing how the shade starts to work up here. And I'm pressing on, putting more on this side, I'm going to darken up in there, too much highlight. And then I'll start to shade up the side of the face. Now this one, because it's a, it's a little bit of a three-quarter view, is going to slope in a little bit more this side. And then I know I'm just from experience I know that because it's a three-quarter view and the side of the head is going to come around the middle 
there's a play, well I'll, I'll talk about at some point, but there's a play of the face that comes around at a mark here, a shadow under the nose, a shadow all on this side of the face here, and then I'll shade in some more, and then maybe for the background what I'll do is I'll darken up a little bit more when I'm happy with that sh sh shade coming in here. And I'm noticing that the eyebrows and there's a brow and it comes in for the eye, then comes in for the cheek and around there. And I just want you to notice that the bottom part of the mouth is what gives us some direction. And the neck in this case will come down. At the side. I'll put in the tendons that hold the head up. I'll put in a bit of ear and then I'll decide what I'm going to do for the hair. And again I'll do that with a lot of shading, maybe even using the side of the pencil just to shade up where that's this time. Oh, put the ear, tend to put the ears in to start with. It's quite a big thing. Lots of shading. And uh, that's more or less it really. A bit more feminine, a bit more hair. I might even put a knot in the hair. This side. The background, deep in the middle shape of the pencil, deep around here. So again, just to remind you, shape, shape, triangle, it's a bit of an M shape I'll put into the, the top lip and then the shadow from the bottom lip and the shape of the eyebrows, a bit of a line for where I want the eyes to go. And what I'm trying to show you with this is that it's actually shadow that makes up the form of what we're aiming at.
And so it's quite a quick. Method. Any sort of. So, how do we get from there to making it look reasonably well proportioned? And these things to do with features. we need to do is to learn quite a bit of a, a technique to help us develop this. Into see really that the form of the nose is built up not with outline at all but with more with shadow Keep on coming back to those. Some will be okay, and some will be a bit scruffy. 